Welcome back to the Gentleman's Gazette. Today's video is all about men's dress socks. We discuss what a quality dress sock looks like, what it's not, and anything else you wanted to know about this. <laughs> Let's start it with sock history. In ancient times, hunters would skin animals and put their skin on their feet to protect them from the elements. In medieval times, socks were truly a luxury item and only reserved for the top 0.1% of population. During the 17th century, socks became affordable for regular families, but of course they could only afford the rough homespun yarn woolen socks, whereas the aristocracy would have fine silk or cotton socks. If you want to learn more about the truly interesting history of socks, please check out our in-depth guide on our website here. Initially, socks were knit by hand, but with mechanization, socks started to be knit on machines. First, socks were actually knitted on a machine that was flat. Once the knitting process had finished, it was put onto a wooden form, such as here, then it was sewn together. And that's why you sometimes see these seams in the back of socks in old movies, because it was purely functional. In fact, the Cri de la Soie knit ties we offer from Fort Belvedere are knitted on old sock machines that were repurposed to be used with silk, and so you create these knit ties. Over time, somebody had the idea to create a round knitting machine so socks wouldn't have a seam that could be uncomfortable. Initially, it only had 72 needles, but over time, machines got more and more refined, and today the finest machines have 280 needles. This results into an extremely fine sock, and when you use yarns like silk and cotton, you get this sheer sock that is one of a kind and simply the finest sock in the world. If you're into this kind of stuff, or if you want a nice black tie sock, please check it out in our shop here. So how do you know what a good dress sock is? Basically, it comes down to five different hallmarks. One, it's really important that your dress sock stays up at all times. The number one reason for a sock to stay up is its length. It simply needs to be over the calf. If it's like mid-calf or a little shorter or ankle length or even shorter, it simply won't work and will slide down. The other aspect you wanna pay attention to is the elastic. You want it to be long and not just slim, because otherwise it may constrict your blood flow and wear uncomfortably. So always make sure to have a long elastic on an over-the-calf sock. It also helps you to avoid all kinds of gimmicks, such as sock suspenders or braces. Some of them are actually connected to your shirt and to your socks, and it's inside your pants. So when you sit or simply when you walk, you can feel it, it's uncomfortable, and you can see it through your pants. At the end of the day, all these gimmicks are only necessary if you have sliding socks that are not the right length and not made of the right materials. Therefore, solve the problem at the source, get a quality pair of socks, and never bother about all these other gimmicks and tools again. It's important to go with natural fibers, ideally 100% natural fibers or blends, such as cotton, wool, silk, or cashmere, simply because these fibers absorb moisture more than nylon or any other of the artificial fibers, and they make you sweat less. A high quality material also feels very comfortable on your skin, and it will last for a while. In areas such as the elastic on top, you need artificial materials because there's just no elastic natural material that would work well. Also, in your heel, where socks wear the most, you want some elastic material, as well as in the toe area. Other than that, stay clear of blended socks. Sometimes you will see that sock manufacturers only use 20%, 30%, 40% of natural materials and all artificial materials because they try to cut down on sizes. They may just offer medium and large or small, medium and large, or maybe even one size fits it all. If you have a foot in size six, you'll need a different sock than somebody who has shoe size 13. That's simply unavoidable. Therefore, when you buy over-the-calf socks, it is important that you get the size that is made for your foot. Most men are not even aware that you can buy socks in several sizes, but 
once you've worn a pair that is actually in the right size of your foot, you never go back. That's why we offer four sizes at Fort Belvedere that cover 98% of all men. To check out what size is right for you, please go to our website and look at the size chart. Dress sock is meant to be worn with suits, combinations, a tuxedo or white tie outfits. And as such, you want it to be elegant and thin. You don't want a hand knit sock that's very thick and rough that may be great for casual events or when you go hunting or in, the, in cold winters when you wear breeches. But for a suit, you want a thin, elegant material. That means it was knitted on a machine with a high number of needles, such as 200 needles, 240, or even 280. When socks were knitted on a circular machine, they still had one issue, which was the open area around the toe. That had to be closed, either by machine or by hand. The problem of machine kettling was that it actually left a thicker area and you could feel it in your toe, which was uncomfortable. That's why hand kettling is really the best quality finish you can get and it's the most comfortable. At the same time, it's the most expensive because it requires hand labor and a skilled workforce. Lately, machines have come up that can also finish it in one knitting process. And whenever you have a sock, make sure you go over this area and just feel. And if it's flat, then it will be a comfortable sock. If it's bulky, like on your tennis socks, you'll always feel it on your toe. So once you know what a quality pair of dress socks looks like, you have to think about how to combine them. As a general rule, you should always match them to your pants or to your trousers, never to your shoe. That's just the main basic rule. But beyond that, there are a lot more ways that you can match your socks in a proper way. So stay tuned for other video about how to match dress socks with pants and your outfit. We'll discuss what colors of socks you have, what shoe colors you can use, and how you make it all work in your outfit so you look your best. Next up, let's talk about dress sock etiquette. So when in doubt, simply wear black socks that match your pants for formal and semi-formal events. Never wear athletic socks with business attire. They're usually short and even if they're long, they have a high amount of polyester, they're thicker, and they just don't go with the fineness and the elegance of a suit. That includes athletic socks in black. They just look awful with a suit. Of course, you should always avoid wearing socks that have holes or loose threads in them. So check them every once in a while because otherwise it looks quite sloppy. Depending on where you live or who you visit, you never know when you have to take your shoes off and it can be quite embarrassing to have worn or dirty socks with holes in them. Make sure to file your heels so you don't have any calluses and to clip and file your toenails because that way your socks will last longer. Your left sock and your right sock should always be worn in the same color. Never mix and match, it just looks like a clown. Now that you know everything you need to know about dress socks, stay tuned for our video about how to match them with shoes and pants. If you wonder where you can get a high quality pair of dress socks, or even multiple ones in different colors, such as this burgundy with a shadow stripe or simply darker colors, please check out our shop where we really focus on providing you with the highest quality material, luxury dress socks that you can find in the market today. Seriously, I mean that. I was always unhappy with socks and they never stayed up. And if they did in the beginning, they slid down after a while. I've had mine for over two years and they're still in perfect shape. But don't just take my word for it, please check out the reviews on our website. Simply click here to get to our shop and check out our sock selection.